Meghan Markle, 40, and Prince Harry, 36, stepped back from senior royal duties in March 2020 for a new life in LA and became financially independent. Royal commentator Omid Scobie, who wrote an unauthorized biographer on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, has claimed the couple have their own voices and predicts Harry will give a deeper insight into his personal life with his memoir next year. Mr. Scobie discussed the claims as he spoke of the additions made to his and co-author Caroline Duran's book, which the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have distanced themselves from upon rejecting allegations of having collaborated with the authors. Speaking to Royally Obsessed, Mr. Scobie said, I think one of the biggest things that have changed since the original Finding Freedom came out is that Harry and Meghan have their own voices now. They can tell their stories as and when they want, how they want, and as we've heard Harry plans to release his memoir next autumn. I am sure we will get an even deeper insight into certain aspects of his life that only he knows. What was so important about writing Finding Freedom in the first place was being able to tell the story of two individuals who at the time weren't able to tell their story. We've kind of reached the end of that road in a way. It's not longer the task of others to try and write the record. His comments come after Harry made a surprise guest appearance at the GQ Awards on Wednesday night. The scientists who helped develop the Oxford, AstraZeneca vaccine have praised the Duke of Sussex's comments urging governments to inoculate poorer countries. Professor Dame Sarah Gilbert and Professor Catherine Green were honored with the Heroes of the Year Prize at the 2021 GQ Men of the Year Awards. They were introduced by the Duke, who made a surprise virtual appearance at the star-studded ceremony. Harry delivered a speech blaming masses of misinformation for vaccine hesitancy and calling for jabs to be given to poorer countries. Professor Green, who was part of the team that designed the AstraZeneca jab, said she echoed his comments. She told the PA news agency, We didn't know that was going to happen, so suddenly Prince Harry's on stage. And he said all of the things we wanted to say about the necessity to get vaccines to the world for people irrespective of their ability to pay. A really important message, Dame Sarah, who co-designed the AstraZeneca vaccine, also agreed with the Duke. She told PA, We're not going to be safe until everybody is safe and it's really important to get the vaccine to everybody around the world. Harry hailed Dame Sarah, Professor Green and the team behind the AstraZeneca vaccine as heroes of the highest order who have done their part. Related articles Queen invites Sarah Ferguson to Balmoral this summer Prince William didn't really want to be King Princess Diana said Meghan and Harry receive thinly veiled response from Michelle.